the Golden Lion goes to the Pavilion of Japan. Toyo Ito, leading architect, collaborated with younger architects and with the local community to address in a practical and imaginative way the design of a new center for the region devastated by a natural disaster. The presentation and the storytelling in the pavilion are exceptionally and highly accessible to a broad audience. The jury was impressed with the humanity of this project. Of course, it's, uh, I'm very happy. And uh, uh, I, I was wondering uh, uh, my theme. Our theme is uh, it's could be understood to, to the people outside. Yeah, but uh, uh, I got awarded, so maybe my my idea was understood by all the people in, all over the world. Thank you. The Golden Lion goes to Urban Think Tank and Justin McQuirk. The jury praised the architects for recognizing the power of this transformational project. An informal community created a new home and a new identity by occupying Torre David and did so with great flair and conviction. This initiative can be seen as an inspirational model acknowledging the strength of informal societies. It means that by working more, more ethics in architecture, we'll get more aesthetics. Our common ground is actually in South America, the most urbanized continent in the world, and I think a lot of lessons are to be learned from the errors, but also from the uh, power, from the ingeniousness of the people for Asia, for Africa. We showed that there was a way to make an exhibition that was common ground as well, that it wasn't just drawings and you know models, but there was a place that could be social, where people could get together and enjoy their company and eat and drink and talk about ideas, and that was also part of our theme. Silver Lion, for a promising studio of architecture, it goes to Grafton Architects, Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara. The Silver Lion of the International Exhibition Common Ground is awarded to Grafton architects Yvonne Farrell and Shelley McNamara as a promising and emerging practice for their impressive presentation of a new university campus in Lima, connecting to the ideas of Paolo Mendez da Rocha. The jury believes that the conceptual and spatial qualities of this installation demonstrate the considerable potential of this architectural practice in remaining the urban landscape. A great honor, thank you. Uh, for Shelley and I and our team, we are extremely grateful. It means a huge amount for uh, Ireland, for a start, uh, that Irish architecture and Irish architects can, can work uh, in many countries. Uh, we are very honored by the uh, by the UTEC uh, client, who, when we won the competition in Lima, that they, uh, that they would trust us to, uh, to make a new university. But th what is amazing about the Biennale is that the theme of common ground. We've learned so much from this whole uh, participation in working with the team of uh, David Chipperfield, who held a very firm hand on the tiller. So we felt we were in really good hands, and if we made a mistake, he would tell us. The jury has decided to add to the traditional lions a special mention. The special mention goes to Chino Zucchi. Chino Zucchi for an installation which aims to evoke a complex network of relationship that shape our physical environment. The jury believes that this serves as an exemplary reminder of the all-embracing theme of the common ground. We are very emotional to have participated, of course, as well as the mention. We can say that our attempt was to interpret the theme of common ground, which was very clear, 
cercando di enfatizzare il fatto che le città non siano fatte da oggetti isolati, ma le, il fatto che le cose si rassomiglino, gli edifici o gli spazi pubblici, è per noi un elemento di dialogo. Tre menzioni speciali. Menzione speciale della giuria al padiglione della Polonia. Special mention goes to Poland for making the walls quake as if they were dilating with the secret knowledge of great powers, as you wrote. This brave and bold installation reminds the visitor to listen as well as to look and to feel the sound of the common ground. Congratulations. What for us was very important is to um, make uh, people focus on the relation sound and architecture and it really works. I think it's obviously a very clear statement about the sound of architecture and how we experience other people in our surroundings through sound. Now I think it's really up to them and up for the architectural community in Poland what they do with that. Seconda menzione speciale va al padiglione della Russia. The ICE city installation takes a dialectic approach to Russia's past, present and future. And in the process turned into us all into a digital spice. The jury was drawn into this magical mystery tour and beguiled by its visual presentation. Terza menzione speciale, United States of America. Special mention goes to the United States of America for their spontaneous interventions. Design actions for the common ground. The interactive installation impressed the jury with the celebration of the power of individuals to change society in small but effective ways. I think it's the first time the U.S. Pavilion has won something in the Architecture Biennale, so of course we're very proud. Um, but I also think that it means that uh, um, I'm happy that that, you know, that the jury and, and it seems like just everybody seems to be responding very well to a presentation that's simple, it's actually very low-tech, you know, um, very mechanical, uh, engaging, and um, asks people to engage the way that most of the projects that we're featuring really asks people or urges people to participate and to get involved into improving the cities um, that they live in. As you already know, on the proposal of David Chipperfield, the board of the Biennale has awarded with the award for lifetime achievement Alvaro Siza Vieira. We were expecting it <laughs> because I think Siza is one of the greatest architects of the world. So it's not, uh, but it's an honor to receive it, of course, for him. And I think it's very important in this moment uh, because the Portuguese architecture is going to pass to a difficult period. Uh, we have economic, economical problems. We have to defend our architecture and the, the, the one that is made already and the new one. So I think it's very important to receive for him and for us his award. And Alvaro Cesar for me is a sort of saint of this uh, Biennale. He's my patron saint and uh, he's a symbol for what I think this Biennale should be about. About um, someone that is both inventive, is interested in history, is interested in society, interested in people. Uh, Alvaro Cesar for me is the architect that embodies most closely what I believe architecture should be.